Thank you for your commentary today, Andrew. Uh, I hope that this might lead to an extended and invigorating discussion on Catholica as to where we go with this whole question of sacraments. Tom McMahon has uh, suggested in some of his commentary that the sacraments as we've known them since the Council of Trent are no longer communicating to the hearts of people anymore uh, in this technological age. And uh, while Tom hasn't suggested what any new sacraments might be or whether we need sacraments uh, uh, as we've traditionally known them, uh, I think questions are raised as, as to where we go with this whole thing. As I said, you seem to be putting the case that for revamping the uh, or finding the, the original meaning in the the sacraments that we already know. Um, one of the questions in my mind is that people seem to be uh, still value the importance of sign and symbol in life. The whole advertising industry, the whole of our culture these days is permeated with the importance of symbol and signs. And as I keep suggesting in the <clears throat> quest for or interest in secular liturgies, um, you know, people have a great interest in this stuff that takes us to the heart and soul of our existence, of, of where we're going as a community, as a society, as a whole human race. And uh, so I don't think the idea of symbol and these uh, tools that we use to get to the heart, get to the spirit of where we're at in life has diminished in life. The problem to me is that the institution has gone off playing other games. It's playing games about rules and that sort of thing. And it is no longer speaking to the issues that the great majority in society want answered. Uh, it, it's not coming up with the liturgies these days that can compete with the ones that are being produced out in the secular world anymore that do communicate to the issues that people still want to, uh, still find important in their lives. And they're, they're the things that you outlined in the last uh, sentence of your um, post, your commentary today. Um, what I hope we might discuss, and perhaps we can get Tom in on this because he's never really answered. I, I did ask him once long before, you know, if we if we ditch the seven sacraments from Trent, uh, is there another set or another number of uh, symbols that we can use that have uh, vital uh, spiritual meaning to us and can revitalise this whole spiritual and religious quest. Uh, to me, uh, religion, institutional religion, still has a vital role to play in society. It's supposed to be the husband, the, the one who nurtures this whole uh, realm of uh, spirituality and, and getting to these things that are inexpressible in the human heart as to, to what the purpose of our life is. How do we find peace in our lives? How do we find justice? How do we find the ultimate fulfilment? How do we find our role uh, as human beings in this whole enterprise called the human race? Um, so, again, thank you for the commentary. Uh, and uh, I hope Tom and others will come in on this and perhaps offer uh, constructive suggestions as to where we go. I see, I see it, there are three real issues here. One is, uh, and I'm really summarising what I've just said, the first one is, uh, <clears throat> is symbol uh, in this spiritual sense still important to society today? Is it still important to the majority of human beings today? Secondly, uh, the issue of the particular symbols 
that the church has used, you know, it condensed down from, I don't know how many, was it 700 or something at, at uh, uh, Trent to seven. And uh, has the use by date uh, passed and we need new symbols that uh, address the uh, core issues uh, that people see as important in their lives today. Now, obviously, some of the ones that have traditionally been there may still play a role. You know, I think that's an issue for discussion. The third issue, I, I think, is the one of uh, what role does institutional religion uh, or do we need some new structure to emerge? Who are the custodians, the the ones who nourish this in human society, this discussion of uh, th these, these symbols that cut to the very core objectives of, of what we see our lives as being. Thank you for listening and let's hope this leads to a good discussion. Thank you.